Hotel Namaste. I'm out here on the BLM land in uh, Walnut Walnut Creek on the outskirts of um, Flagstaff. Anytime you want to get away, you know, you can go on the BM, BLM lands and stay 14 days, you know, with no problem, free. You know what I'm saying? As long as you just clean up your mess and all that shit. And then, you know, you can make a fire and cook on fire and all that on the land. Like right now, it ain't no fire hazard. So, you know, if you want to make a fire, you could do so. But I come out here a lot so I can practice my crossbow and my bow and arrow. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep my skills tight. And then I just had to do a replacement on my bow. So... Which I got right here now. Mounted in my van so I don't have to be worried about um, losing it or nothing like that. But I'm let you look around out here. It's the BLM land out in the forest. Still got snow from when it snowed days ago. Got some muddy spots. You got to be careful of the mud spots, though. Because you'll fuck around and get stuck out here. And that ain't what you want. Especially camping by yourself like I do all the time. But I don't be never. I ain't never worried of nothing because I always got weapons. I got plenty of weapons. You know what I'm saying? So that's at least my worries about somebody coming up on me with some bullshit. I'm... I'm Accurate with the bow and I'm accurate with the crossbow. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if the worst come to worst, I can take care of the business quietly. But hopefully, I don't never have to encounter no silly shit. And I haven't. The whole time, I've been out here almost two full years now doing van life. And I love it. Love it. You know, I get, I have people I work with when it's cold because it, it done got down to one degrees here. And there was nuts. a lot of times it'll get down to like 18 and uh, 23 and 22. So luckily, I got good insulation in my van. So luckily, I got real good insulation. And, uh... I knew the insulated good from having my last van. And, um, yeah, man, it, my shit, I can turn the heat on for about 15 minutes and then cut it off. And my van will hold the heat in for at least three to four hours. So when on them really cold nights, I just, um, I just crank up the heat. Let it roll for about 15, 20 minutes. Turn it off, tuck, get tucked back up in the covers, and I'm good through the night. You know, I have people asking me uh, that I tell them I could sleep on their couch. Or I got one girl who tried to give me a, rent me a room in her place. But I'm like, hell no, I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? One, I don't want to impose on nobody if I don't have to. You know, and two... I really just enjoy being in my van, man. When I first started this, uh, started out with this, I built a bunch of shit in the old van. I didn't even need like a kitchen and sink, and I ended up using that shit for storage. I wasn't even using the sink. <clears throat> I used it to keep stuff in it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, forks and plates and shit. I didn't even use the sink, never. So this time I didn't even build one. Because as long as I got water, jugs, I got two, three big jugs uh, that I can put like seven, eight gallons in. And as long as I got water and uh, my stove, you know, I'm, I'm Gucci. You know what I'm saying? I can uh, cook on the fire on the out, outside. I can wash my dish. I got a plastic container that flatten down and open back out that I can use to wash my dishes and shit. So, 
if I wash dishes, I wash them outside of my van. You know what I'm saying? I don't do it on the inside of the van. And then if I'm in a parking lot where I don't want people to know I'm in there and I have to, and I happen to cook, what I do is just put the dirty dishes to the side until I leave that area. And then once I leave that area, then I find somewhere to wash uh, my dishes and whatnot. But, man, this is like one of the best moves I ever made. You know what I'm saying? I love doing this life. And then if, if you're working, just to think, I don't have no bills. People, and then a lot of folks can't even understand it. They like, why are you, uh, why you live in a van? Why are you, you homeless? I'm not homeless. I'm houseless, but I'm not homeless. You know what I'm saying? But, um, man, I love this life. I got about $180 in bills a month. I pay my insurance on my van, and I pay for my phone bill. And I got unlimited hotspot on my phone so that I'm able to just use it to get on my laptop when I need to. But I still ain't figured out. Look at this. It's just, man, it's so quiet out here. You know what I'm saying? Just I love being away from the... Look at that. Quiet as a mouse. You can't hear nothing but a bird. That's the way you come in. And you got all these camp spots all on both sides. Some of them you can't really access right now because a lot of that snow done melted down and uh, made everything like real muddy. But luckily I found a spot in here that... um. Not so bad. It's muddy right here, but I can go kind of go around it and not have to worry about being stuck in it. Plus, you don't just, you know, drive through no thick mud if it got water spots all in it because you ass gonna be stuck. But yeah, man, I love being out here. I appreciate everybody that follow me. I appreciate everybody who make who comment and uh like my video. You know what I'm saying? Like once I maybe once I cause, oh I'm getting ready to do some traveling in about two weeks. I'll be going to uh Tennessee, like sixteen hundred and sixty miles. And I'm gonna stop a few places along the way. But I'm gonna try to get there in three days. It really, you really can get there in uh, 24 hours if you drive non-stop 24 hours. But I'm not gonna do that. I got people and friends in different cities <coughs> that I want to stop and see. I got a partner in. Um, and where is it? Where does he live? Oklahoma City. Cause that's the route I'm taking, so I don't have to pay no tolls. But I got a buddy in uh, Oklahoma. I'm gonna stop and holler at for an hour or two, maybe eat dinner or something with him, eat lunch with him, and then I'm gonna jump right back on the highway. And then I got a daughter in Texas, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it to her, cause she at the bottom of Texas. She ain't on the upper part when you come through Dallas. She's down on the bottom half, down in San Antonio. That shit damn near like the Mexican border. You know, that'll take me way out the way. So I probably won't end up stopping there this time. And then, um, I got one or two people in New Orleans, because I think, or, or Louisiana, not necessarily New Orleans, that I might holler at. And you know, when I leave there, I can go straight on into Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? I'd probably be six to four to six hours out because I have to go through Memphis, and Memphis is like four and a half hours away from Chattanooga. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to holler at y'all. I probably ain't going to be able to post it till I leave up out these woods because it really ain't no kind. You can't get no, that's one thing. You can't get much internet or phone service until 
nighttime when you're in the forest like this. Let me see how I get this back open. Yeah, you really don't have no uh, internet service till nighttime. But, uh, you know, most of the people that I've met out here love this life. You know what I'm saying? People are connecting back to nature. People are, and that's my really my goal to next year. Well, not next, this year. Around September, October, I'm going to come back out here. I'm going to just go visit home for about two weeks, and I'm going to come back out here and just stack everything, you know. And that's what I do on my off days instead of spending money. Like today, I just come out here in the uh, woods and, um, you got to worry about spending nothing because, I mean, it's free to free to sit on the land. And um, you're 15 minutes from a store. So nine times out of ten, once you're out here, you ain't thinking about going back into the city until um, until you're ready to go back in for, you know, to stay. And uh, like today, is a, I got an off day. And I was off yesterday, so I took care of my washing and stuff like that yesterday. So today, I just decided to come out here and just enjoy the woods. I'm going to pull, pull my crossbow out and fire it a couple of times, line something up with it. You know what I'm saying? And just to make sure my aim is still good. I really need to pull this bow down and use it because I had to add a new... Uh, I don't even know what it's called, but it's what the arrows sit in. And I don't know if it's perfectly in a line straight. You know what I'm saying? It may be a little to the left, a little to the right, which that's no big deal. That just means you have to adjust your shot left or to the left or a little or to the right a little. But overall, I love this life. Love it. You know, and I can't really get people to understand how beautiful being out here like this is. Uh, before I got here where I'm at in Arizona, I was in California, man. I was on the, I found secluded spots in California where I was on the beach for days with my back doors open, man, just at the beach, which I got pictures, but I ain't got videos of it. You know what I'm saying? I really wasn't thinking about recording the way I am now, you know what I'm saying? But um, since I have been recording, I'm, I, anywhere I go from now on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video. Anywhere I stop, I'm gonna make a video. Um, that way people can see what it's like going state to state to state to state. You know, I really wanted to go through, through Colorado, Utah, and um, what's the other one? But they say Utah is beautiful scenery, it's beautiful uh, waterfalls, lake, uh, forests, and, and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm at here, Arizona is like hurting for water. They can have a lake or two here, but when I got here in the summertime, them motherfuckers was down. They was about dried up. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fisher. I love to fish. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. And I haven't been fishing since I've been here because they really don't have a lot of lakes and rivers and stuff like back east. And like, you know, Midwest, more of the Midwest and whatnot. This is like the more towards Mexico and down in that area. But northern Arizona get a lot of snow because it's right there like an hour, a couple of hours away from Colorado. But, um, yep, I'm going to end right here. Just letting y'all see where I'm at, what I'm doing. You know, subscribe to my channel, share it. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I can get to a point where I can get monetized on YouTube again. You know, I'm tr I got to watch my mouth because YouTube is just as... Uh, on BS the same way Facebook is and the same way Twitter is. They'll, you know, they'll counsel you since we got this new council culture. 
that you can't say nothing against nothing that part of their agendas, you know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, and, I'm, and I've studied a lot of stuff and a lot of information that I know, but I just have to keep it to myself unless I'm face-to-face -face with somebody and they want to know the information, then I'll pass it on. But um, other than that, I got to watch what I say because uh, I've written not too long, just got back on uh, YouTube. They shut me down for about two or three weeks. And I had tried to post videos and they was not going through. And come to find out, they was not al allowing me to post. So, but anyway, I love y'all, man. Stay beautiful. Stay peaceful. You know what I'm saying? And have a good day. Peace.